All right, so uh, we've got a little EDU 450 out there, and it's got, you know, Cube Orange, Blue OS running on a Raspberry Pi. Um, so we don't have live video on this one, but it still shows you, you know, some of the new and interesting things you can do with Blue OS. Um, so uh, we're actually going to try and demonstrate two new features. One of them is going to be high altitude optical flow. So uh, normally optical flow only works within the range of the uh, rangefinder. Uh, but with the stabilized camera and the train database, it should work. I've tested it up to 100 meters and we're going to try and reproduce that. Also, uh, on its way back, um, we're, it sh it's going to come back at about 40 meters high, so quite high up. And hopefully it will use again that same downward facing camera, this time for precision landing. Um, so it'll, it'll, there's a, a target out there with two April tags on it, one big one that should work from high altitudes and then one little one that'll work at lower altitudes. I've actually never tested both these features together. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it, hopefully it'll work. So, um, if you look at the mission on the screen, it's a very small screen, but uh, basically the mission is take off to 20 meters, then it flies forward about 40 meters or so. It hovers there for 10 seconds. At that point, I'm gonna switch it over to using optical flow and maybe turn off the GPS, so you should be able to see the GPS turn off on the screen there. If all goes well, th that's really the most dangerous point. Um, if it stays in control and everything, no EKF fail safe, then, you know, we will see it proceed up to 100 meters. It'll hang out there for about 20 seconds, and then it'll come back. We will probably get some drift, uh, so we can, you'll see. If I switch it back to GPS, it'll suddenly move. Okay? All right. Okay, arming an auto. Okay, so it's going to 20 meters and then it should go forward. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch it to optical flow. So that's optical flow. Are you connected? All right, so yeah, so now it's, it's just using optical flow and it's climbing up. So I'm gonna turn off the GPS as well. So no GPS at all. And it should hang out at 100 meters for about 20 seconds. So no hands, no GPS. Again, you can't see it really? Okay, I'm gonna turn back on the GPS, but it's still doing optical flow only. I think it's coming back, maybe. I think it's coming back. What do you think? It's quite a long delay you had in there, 20 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So at some point, once it stops or gets too close to us, I'm going to switch it back to GPS. I'm going to switch it back to GPS only, and we can see how much it moves. So it's coming back to 40 meters now. Okay, so pretty soon I'm going to switch it to GPS. Yeah, there it is. It stopped. So here's GPS on. So that's how much it drifted. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how much drift built up. Now it's going to be now it's going to start an RTL. And it's quite high. So now hopefully with the you know, high resolution camera gimbal, it'll be able to see the target and land right on it.
Sometimes you can see it do a little jump when, when, the, when the tag is in range. To be honest, I'm not sure it's actually seen the target. Yeah, I don't think it's seen it. Nah. Oh well, you know. Two, one out of two. <laughs> Thank you very much.